Hi everybody, Paul Richards here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the New Tech Connect Pro app to make up to four camera sources NDI compatible. All this and more coming up next. So I have a little presentation I'd like to show to kind of walk you through the four top ways to add cameras to the New Tech Connect Pro app. Uh, the first way is very simple. You can add a camera via a USB connection. Uh, the second way would be adding it over IP. The third way would be adding it via a capture card. And then the fourth way would be adding an, a source that's already NDI compatible into the system for monitoring. So let me go to my second slide here and just kind of show you what we're going to be going over. Um, so the new Tech Connect Pro app is a Windows-based application used to encode, transmit, and receive high-quality, low-latency video and audio over IP. This application makes regular video sources available to NDI-compatible systems. So it can have PC, it's a PC software for IP video hosting, up to four simultaneous video sources, local and IP video sources. It supports NDI, Aspen, SMPTE 2022, and it has built-in color correction and it has eight channels of audio. So what is NDI? In a nutshell, NDI is the New Tech and um, New Tech's Network Device Interface, NDI. Technology, it's an open platform, open standard for live production with IP workflows over Ethernet networks. NDI allows systems and devices to identify and communicate with each other and to encode, transmit, and receive high quality, low latency, frame accurate video and audio over IP in real time. So this system also supports third-party hardware and I.O. cards such as Blackmagic Design, DeltaCast, AJA, and we're actually going to show Magewell in this system working with our PTZ producer kits. Um, it also has on-screen previews and a lot of really great um, systems that we're going to show right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I want to show is how to add a USB camera, which is one of the easiest. So I've actually got a live preview. Um, of the system here and I'm going to go ahead and transfer to that and one of the things you'll see here is that uh, you've, I've basically got four channels of video here and it looks like this camera's got or maybe it's one two this camera's got some fuzz on it I have to take a look at but um, I guess that's a focus issue I'll have to look at but basically if we go in here we can select between video sources and the first easiest way is actually to just pull up a camera that's connected via USB. So I've already done that and uh, that is actually this camera here. Um, the second way is actually adding an IP camera um, and those actually show up, if I put it actually right here, they will actually show up as a video source and you don't even need to worry about IP addresses. So if we go to our NDI source manager here, I want to show you guys what this looks like. So this is the New Tech Connect source manager and it allows you to actually add PTZ Optics cameras to your network and make them available via NDI to the New Tech Connect Pro app. So what we're doing here is we're um, creating a config inside New Tech Connect Pro, uh, Pro software to categorize and, and catalog all the PTZ Optics cameras on our network. You can put a little memo, which I would suggest putting the IP address and the location of the camera just so you can keep everything straight. It's a nice little management tool that allows us to, uh, to ex kind of expand our IP-based workflow with the new Tech Connect Pro app. And you can see in here I'm putting in the IP addresses and the port number and then the username and password is admin admin. So if you want to add a new camera, there's a drop down and you can just select PTZ Optics. Type in the name of your camera that can be unique to the location or however you want and again there's that memo section and basically your PC becomes a hub which can host up to four simultaneous video sources for use in your live video productions. Video sources can be any combination of format or standard so that you can have signals coming from a local webcam, IP cameras like we're showing here, baseband video, stored media playback, and other IP sources, whether it's NDI, Aspen, SMPTE 2020, 
standards. So all these video sources can be color corrected and you can have up to eight channels of audio as well. So it really allows you to configure a host computer to be a multi-channel video system to create that IP workflow. So that was the demonstration of how to get the IP cameras in. Now let's look at the next one which will be um, adding a, a basically a um, this is the demo here of adding Another camera source, which will be this one we already have in here is the 20X SDI, and that's an IP source. And I just wanted to show all of those cameras we just configured are now available as local sources uh, in, to the new Tech Connect Pro app so that we can make them NDI compatible. We can also choose a channel name, and what that does is that is the channel of NDI that's going to be available on your network. So I'd highly recommend, uh, you know, creating that name, uh, something that you'll want to see in your larger video production switcher like a TriCaster or vMix or Wirecast or Livestream now. Um, that was the color correction really quickly and then I'll show you one more here. Now we'll go ahead and add a, another video source. We had a piece of media there but what's even easier is the ability to add an additional camera here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add uh, the 20x SDI there so that's another IP source so those are that's just a few sources we also have a capture card here I have a Magewell frame grabber here and you can see it's going HDMI in and USB 3.0 out now we can also take HD SDI in and take USB 3 out so that's a direct video connection to the um, system here and it will show up directly in the source manager of the new tech uh, connect pro app which will allow us to again take that media and go ahead and uh, make it NDI compatible. So let me just finish my presentation here. Uh, so we showed all of the different sources and let's just go to the next slide here and you can see that the USB camera super easy just plug and play USB 2 or USB 3 that's super easy we showed that um, HD SDI or HDMI that was that frame grabber we talked about instantly recognizable the next source is the IP camera where we were looking at those that IP config section um, which was fairly straightforward and then all of the once that's all set up all of those sources are available in the new Tech Connect Pro and we can make four of those cameras NDI compatible uh, that's how we configured it we showed all of that and then adding an existing NDI source that's our last example here and I'll go ahead and show you how that can be done um, if you go ahead to that source there, um, actually it's the number eight there, um, you can see that, or I'm sorry, um, it is number six. There we go. This is actually uh, the ability to take, I have a vMix system just for testing here, and this is the output of this system. So. It, any NDI source is also available here as well. So the reason why we might want to do that is that if, um, you know, for monitoring purposes. And then the final thing I'll mention before we, that is our four ways to bring in camera sources. Um, any camera that's connected to a TriCaster or any supporting NDI system, whether it's vMix, Wirecast, Livestream, and um, there's even more out there. Uh, or whether it's in any NDI converter box, that will also be able to be seen in the New Tech Connect Pro app. So I hope that this has been helpful. Um, this New Tech Connect Pro app is now available inside of the um, PTZ producer kits for free. So it allows you to have an IP workflow and attach to so many different applications and workflows. So hopefully this has been a helpful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our video. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.